Hey there, my lovely earth signs. This is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, decided to break up the readings into elements for, for now, so um, let me get started. So you have getting to know each other, retreat, soulmate, and I feel like a lot of you are surrounded by this masculine presence that could be very, like, shy. I got the word shy. I want to say opening up slowly around you. I feel like you're getting to know someone, but whether it's the masculine or the feminine, I feel like one of you, someone here, is a little bit slow to open up. Maybe this person has been through a few, um, painful moments already and it's hard for them to open up to you or maybe they are involved with someone else but there's definitely a soulmate connection here um i'm feeling like let me show you the top row here i am in bed doing this reading because it's freezing cold and i just didn't want to leave the bed right now and that's what's happening so <laughs> We have the Seven of Wands, okay? With the Seven of Wands, this is kind of the, the card that gave me the inkling that there's someone that's kind of afraid or nervous or shy to connect with you. If you look closely, you'll see that this man is not really looking at this woman. Perhaps she's giving her all and he's giving only like kind of less than she deserves because his arms should really be fully embraced around her, but it seems like it's kind of like a halfway gesture. I don't know if it's because this par uh, this person, this man or masculine energy is uh, afraid to get to know you, or is perhaps maybe there's alternative motives or something like that, you know? Um, alternate motives. Am I saying that correctly? Alternative motives. Okay, sorry about that. It's a, re it's a retrograde. <laughs> but with the Seven of Wands, um, somebody here, whether it's male or female, is kind of like... It's crazy because I can either get the feeling of somebody being up to no good and being a little sketchy about this. Like, this guy could either look really suspicious or he could look really afraid. And the fact that there's a reptilian creature here kind of annoys me, bothers me a little bit because he's looking right at this lizard creature, sort of, to me. Or should we zoom in further and see where he's really looking? It's kind of hard to tell if he's looking down or if he's looking down at this lizard here. But for some of you, this could indicate like someone that could be maybe, I don't know, manipulating the situation. Sort of like a snake in the grass, okay? So just kind of take what applies because there's multiple meanings for every card. I am just here to translate all the meanings that I see, okay? So for some of you, this is someone that's shy. And for some of you, this is someone that might be kind of using you in a sense, okay? Now, I hate to say that in my readings, but I'm just going to give it to you guys straight. And I'm not going to lie, some of you may already know that or be aware. This could be a fire sign, maybe. It's uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. But uh, let's move on to the next card before we get away with our opinions. So the next card is the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So again, we have this person. Let me show it to you in the upright so you can get the gist of the card, which is... There's a man behind this woman. He seems like he's a little nervous to like touch her or to bother her to, you know, say excuse me, miss or whatever. Um, some food back here, dinner setting. I don't know. Maybe that's significant for some of you. Um, I do see some a lot of green in this card, which indicates a lot of heart chakra, heart energy, healing, healing in the heart. Okay, so. Maybe this person or one of these people or both of these people are going through some heart healing right now. I feel like maybe both of these people are in the same boat and they don't even realize it. Um, maybe... Sorry, I was just grabbing something. Okay, so maybe um, 
So here again, let me just show you in reverse. Maybe someone is afraid to make this gesture forward. I always felt kind of like, as I was looking at the cards, I was feeling like there was somebody that was afraid to come forward and tell you how they feel about you, someone that's scared, nervous perhaps, um, and they may not be ready to do that still just yet. This could be an earth sign, there is a pentacles suit, so we have a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe this is you. Take what resonates, or both people here. I just feel like um, there's healing happening in this card. And, um, sorry, I just wanted to take a second to kind of really process the card entirely, see if I was getting any of him. Message. All right. So I feel like, yeah, a lot of healing happening here. Maybe together these people are healing. I'm not sure. But one of them could be more afraid to open up than the other. I'm not sure. And now we have the lover's card at the end of the sequence, which kind of, I like to see it in the reverse. I'm not going to lie to you. So it kind of just indicated to me that there could be a perhaps third party situation that is coming to a close or to an end. Someone that's ready to make a decision maybe between two people. Or in some cases, for those of you that don't resonate, there could be sort of like um there could be a Gemini here, first of all. The lover's card is a Gemini. If there's a Gemini here, um, maybe there's a Gemini that's not in their highest power that could be surrounding you, okay? Um, or maybe there's some sort of confusion. But I do see with the lovers in the reverse that decisions will be made there's something decisive about this energy like somebody's making up their mind to maybe either leave one person behind and choose another or to get out of a third party relationship or just I don't know relationships like that okay uh, there, there are th so many different meanings here okay now I feel because of these correlating cards I'm going to start from over here. Um, I feel like the soulmate card and I mean some of you could be dealing with the Gemini maybe that's a soulmate. We have the lovers and we have the soulmate. Maybe your soulmate is tied up in a third party situation currently. Um, maybe yes this is your soulmate. Um, Someone here in, it could be involved with another person, yes, and this may be your soulmate. Okay, so I think you guys will resonate already when you see the cards. You kind of feel the message that it's relaying to you. Uh, and if it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't apply. But I just see like some of you are actually maybe leaving behind a third party relationship for a soulmate relationship instead for something better. So you're leaving this behind, you're turning this down, or turning someone here down, maybe two people, okay? Um, take your pick, okay? Alright, now I'm just trying to take my time with these cards today, I'm feeling a little bit slow, I just, the energy of this retrograde is kind of sneaky, so I'm taking my time with my words as much as I can. Now we have retreat here, and this these two that were uh, pulled together and uh, maybe it's time for you to retreat with an earth sign some of you could be retreating or just taking time away with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or someone else it doesn't have to be an earth sign but um, I feel like there's definitely some time spent like you and another person will be spending some time together but maybe like that when you are spending time together like either this person because again we have a man and a woman in this card and a man and a woman in this card it's kind of interesting so it's definitely some sort of like a one-on-one -on -one couple thing here I think you're getting to know somebody and you're probably just getting to spend a lot of time with that person because again over here now we have the getting to know each other card and as you're getting to know each other it's like I don't know with the seven of wands I feel like there could be even some kind of like a sneaky energy like I really hope 
this person is telling you the truth and not lying to you about themselves or their past but I really do feel like your bond is deepening with this person it's just there's something about this card and the way this guy is not really fully connecting with this woman yet you know so I think that's just what you need to take with a grain of salt that this guy or person whoever I keep saying a guy because it's the masculine in this uh, in this card that's depicted as being the one that's a little uneasy or uncomfortable with getting to like getting in his emotions I feel like might be difficult for this person and some of you could even be connecting by water I see some water surrounding these people maybe there's a, a beach you plan on going I don't know or a, a pool some of you could be just meeting someone from overseas even kind of got that feeling so hmm. maybe there's a long distance thing here too maybe someone from a distance could be coming in and that would be causing some sort of retreat for both of you you would like to spend time away from the world um in this card i really do feel though like because this is this is in the reverse i do see like there's somebody that's afraid to come out with their feelings and tell you what they're feeling again they're by a body of water here i do pay attention to water in the card so uh, again a lot of healing energy some of you may be asked to go near a body of water and into the ocean or something to actually you know clear your energy and get that healing okay um and again, some of you might be meeting someone from overseas or someone could be coming to see you over from overseas. Um, but there's, again, just like hesitation, you know? Just kind of a weird hesitation. That's the feeling I'm getting with this person. I, I almost said with this earth sign. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, actually, as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For a fire sign here, we have a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm not really seeing anyone else except for a Gemini in the corner. In the reverse. Okay. So take what applies. Um, I'm going to draw another quick Romance Angels card for everyone. Okay. Children pop up. Your love life is being affected by children. Uh, okay. So I kind of had a funny feeling this would pop up in my reading, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it is a very fertile time, I would say, especially for my little earth signs, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, please be weary, specifically Taurus as well. I know that for a fact Taurus is um, pretty abundantly fertile uh, <laughs> for this month. I have seen it in the cards. Um, be careful. If you guys are retreating with someone, please, be, you know, be protected. And um, if you're trying to have kids, this would be a good time. If you're not trying to have kids, please, again, be safe. But I do feel like children could be actually coming into the picture soon for some of you. And some of you already may have children. And that could be a contributing factor to getting to know someone and how you get to know them. And the fact that you may have to take time away to get to know them, okay? Alright, um, so earth signs, and I think that's about it. I'm gonna wrap this up, but like I said, there is a soulmate energy here. Yes, this is your soulmate, and I feel are leaving behind other lovers or options, or maybe this person you're involved with could be, I don't know, could be leaving behind a third party situation or another option or whatever for you. Could be choosing you. Or could be actually choosing you, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So we'll see what happens here. Getting to know each other. I feel like a lot of you though, this is definitely, um, so, if, you know, for some of you, I really just want to say like, this could be a friend that you've known for a long time and you're getting to know each other on a deeper level. Because when I see this particular like progression of cards, I don't know, just kind of this particular set of cards is feeling like someone you've known for a long time and you're now getting to understand or bond with on a deeper like soulmate level, okay? 
um, maybe you're meant to have children with this person, maybe they are, I don't know, want to have children, or maybe they, ha I don't know, um, take what resonates, honestly, maybe they have kids, I don't know, but um, I do see a lot of you will get a chance or an opportunity, I think, soon to take time with this person and really, like, bond, and you're going to see the fruits of this at the end of, I feel like, the next 15 days, like, you're going to see that this actually is a soulmate, and maybe it took some time for you to realize that, but yeah, there's something deep here, like, almost hidden, the word hidden just came up, like, something hidden here between you and another, I don't understand it, but, like, I think some of you are gonna get to find out what that is soon, so good luck to you guys, and thank you for watching.